This is not a PG-13 show. This is a PG-16 show. Do not watch this with your kids. If you watch this with your kids, you're a bad parent. Oh, <clears throat> hey, okay, so this is the situation here. I know this looks sad and depressing and all, but uh, I assure you, we are about to put the fun in funeral. Here's the deal. Deshaun White is the guy we're all here to remember. This dude lived one of the craziest lives ever. So, he requested that only people with a story about an experience to have with him uh, could show up for the funeral. Did I just get a bear? Whatever. Here you go. Enjoy the show. Freaking bears. Quit it, you stupid bear. Those are our salmon. Go get your own salmon. You're in people land. Go back to bear land, you jerk. I think what you're doing is pretty stupid. You better stop before he decides he's not going to put up with your crap anymore. I mean, there's even a saying, don't poke a bear. Holy crap, he's going to do nothing and run off, leaving no repercussion for your actions. How are you so freaking lucky? <laughs> oh well, I guess we're done here. I've rid the park of a monster. You pestered an animal that wasn't bothering anyone. No need to thank me. It's time to go get my new car anyway. Can I get a ride to the bank? Yeah, man. Let's roll before he remembers he's a bear and wants revenge. Just as well. I don't think we even have salmon in Tennessee. Next. Uh, hey there, lady. Could I get like three thousand out of my account, please? Let's see. Okay, Mr. Watt, how would you like this back? Hmm. <laughs> How about slow motion? Thank you. Where did you run off to? Are you freaking serious? What? He was asleep. He never even knew it was there. Yeah, that's totally not the point. Well, the assumption is right, though. Like taking candy from a baby. It was super easy. Hello? 
What? Manhole inspector? <laughs> no, man, uh, you got the wrong number. Okay, that was super weird. They were looking for somebody named Barry that's hiring from whatever a manhole inspector is. Ha! <laughs> that's funny. So did you hire him? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Alright, here's a guy we hope you'll all grow to love later. Get familiar with Peter. Uh, okay, back to the show. Nah, haven't I met you boys somewhere before? Uh, no, you're thinking of some Chinese kids. Those Asian scallywags be everywhere these days. So, me hearties, without further ado, I present to you the fastest ship in all the 20 interstates. Here be the keys to your brand new Lincoln MLK. Woohoo! Let's jump in. Sweet. Dude, I totally freaking love this car. Like, I would marry it, but then I know it would just get fat and I would grow to resent it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. No man holds pictures. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Hey, look. It's a handicap spot. <laughs> handicap spot. What's up, Mr. Three-Legged Doggy Dog? You want some ham? Hey, what's up, gas station guy? Chocolate milk, chocolate milk, let me get you some chocolate milk. You ready? Right. I just need seven dollars on three, please. Let me pay for that guy's gas. You're stupid. I think we learned that earlier. Why? Because I like to pay it forward when I can? Go ahead and pump twenty dollars, sir. Have a nice day. Okay, then. See, man, that probably made his day. Don't you feel better about yourself? I hate those guys. I don't know. I guess they think it'll take me $20 to mow my lawn. Oh well, I'm putting the rest in his old work truck. Sucker. <laughs> See? Stupid. Let's go see what this thing will do on the railroad tracks. Yeah, new car, railroad tracks, it's gonna be a good day. You know, I don't think it's right that people are always saying, Jesus saves. Alright, I'm listening. I'm just saying, just cause he was Jewish, it doesn't mean he was good with money. I don't know if you're being serious or not, but you're one funny Jew. Yeah, I'm only half Jewish. Kind of like you just half black. Yeah, the bottom half. <laughs> you mean because you can run faster than me? Congratulations. You can outrun your fat, chain-smoking Jewish friend. Yay. Not at all the direction I was going in, but we'll move on now. Why is this old lady going so slowly? What's going on here? Yeah, you'd think she'd be in a bigger hurry since she doesn't have much time left on her. Besides, she's been driving as long as cars have been on the road. Seems like she would be better at it. <laughs> Look, she's driving an old smobile. <laughs> That's funny.
Uh, nope. Nope. Still nobody named Barry. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, bye. Alright, glasses? Glasses. Fuel? Fuel. Horsepower? Well, it's... What's that? So, it's totally normal for two guys to find a box full of kittens, right? Dude, shut it. They're taking them with us. Who are they? Hmm? They don't have names. They need names. And I'm guessing you've got some in mind? Well, you know me. I've claimed the white one without a tail. I dub D Soma. What? Is that a word? Sure it is. Well, it is now. It's a noun. Whatever. The black one without a tail is mine. I figured as much, so I named him Sema. It goes well with Soma. Remind me never to play Boggle with you. Why? What's Boggle? It's just some weird word game. My friend's aunt used to play it all the time back in Orland, Texas. And what do we call you, you little weirdo? That one's Benjamin's cat. Meow. So, hear that, you little freak? Your new name is Benjamin's cat. Meow. Okay, now that all the important stuff is done for the day, drop me off so I can get a shower so we can go do stuff later. Word. There's like a lot of things that don't warrant a LOL. Do you mean like most of the things that happen here? Most things actually. Most things just deserve a little laughter. There should be an LL for laugh a little. <laughs> I guess it's true. Tyler the Midget, do you grab some orange juice for me please? Oh wait, yeah. Uh, before we get any further... These guys also have pet midgets, like, all the time. Uh, they have, like, the worst luck with the pet midgets, but they've always got pet midgets. And if you look at the sombrero, those are tiny pancakes uh, with syrup in the center of the hat. Okay, I'll bring you some orange juice. That's just freaking gross. Are you telling me you don't like orange juice? What kind of freaking Nazi doesn't like juice? <laughs> well, actually, that was kind of their thing. Like, zero Nazis like Jews. That may have been their motto. We don't like Jews. It was on the kids' t-shirts and posters and crap, man. Wow. Yeah, that couldn't be any more messed up. Well, at least it's not concentrated, I guess. <laughs> L-A-L. I'm gonna get the shower now. Dante's waiting to meet up with some girl later, and I think we're supposed to be going along. Who did that? Who's in here? Hello? No? Yes, seriously? I'm not hiring for anything, especially that I don't even know what a manhole inspector is. Where'd you get my number? Craigslist. What? Here you go. Uh, this is Benjamin Cat. Take care of it for me. I have to go run and find a computer. That's not my freaking cat. Can you just Google it on your phone? Not exactly. That hasn't really been invented yet. What year do you think it is?
Hello? Oh, hey, Deshaun. Yeah, I can do that. And how are you paying for this? What is your card number? It went through. We'll have it out to you in like 30 minutes. Seriously? Bear just roars. She understands every word of it. You guys aren't even trying. Just pathetic. Pathetic. Hey, Deshaun just ordered a bunch of pizzas. I need you to run to Kroger and get some honey. What? I'm trying to eat. I just sat down. Well, if you want to be able to be paid for the food you're eating, you'll run and get some honey so you can deliver them and get the $20 tip you left. Whatever. I guess I'll eat and drive, because that's safe. Okay, so he goes and picks the honey up and the pizzas get made. So I'm saving you like 20 minutes of boring nothing that happens. We're going to go ahead and cut ahead to the delivery part where like the fat guy is eating so much that he actually has to unbutton his pants. Wait, is that a spoiler? Whatever, you're going to see it in like two seconds. Here you go. All right. Oh, I think I ate too much. Oh, more room to breathe. That's better. Hey, what you got there, homie? Just delivering your weird pizzas. You really shouldn't smoke so much. That's what causes you to order 20 honey pizzas. Please just take these so I can get my tip and it won't be a total waste of my time and dignity. <laughs> and they had a pet midget. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hello. Yeah. Uh, yo. What's up? Man, you need some weird shit. Uh, do what? What's with the honey pizzas? You having Winnie the Pooh over? For that matter, shouldn't it be Winnie the Bear? That other name sounds just gross. What were you saying? Back up a little. What pizzas? Send this back. I'm not paying for that. I didn't order that mess. Well, they were already paid for. And probably <laughs> was already eating one. Actually, he seems to be rolling around in them. He's one messed up little midget. I'm gonna quit leaving you guys in my house. Anyway, I'll mess that when I get back. Um. There's an ad on Craigslist with my name and number on it, but some guy named Barry is the contact. <laughs> Manhole inspector. Shut it. I'm on my way. Yeah, I'm barefoot. I couldn't find one of my shoes. It's been a very long day. Back off. Hello, man. My name's Benjamin. I'll be your customer today. Can I help you somehow? Ma'am. Yeah, my, my dumb friends found this cute kitten by the railroad tracks. Actually, I think they found maybe two or three of them. I don't know. But they wanted me to take care of this one for them for some reason. They really didn't tell me. Which I also don't get because cats totally take care of themselves like licking themselves all the time if, if you just leave them alone. What do you mean? Are you saying that cats can just... 
catch their own food? Yeah, kinda, sorta. That's what's wrong with the world. People like you think they can just leave animals alone and they will be fine. What about like squirrels, possums, snakes, and all that other wildlife crap that lives out in the jungle, man? Yeah. Exactly. What about them? They need to be taken care of and fed as well as getting medical care instead of stupid humans being evil to them. But if humans have to take care of the animals, doesn't that mean the animals are the stupid ones? Last I checked, I don't think dumb things take care of smart things. Said like a typical stupid human. Dude, here's your stupid cat. Seriously? Jeebus, man. How old are you? Go wipe the chocolate off your face. I don't know, Dee. That phone girl said it sounded exactly like you. Dude, those are some honey pizzas. I eat pepperoni and mushrooms. And I'm gay. Dude, get out of here. So stupid. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I'll try to get the charges taken off, but I'm not making any promises, whether you're gay or not. I'm not gay. Come here, kitty. You want some pizza? Man, this seems interesting. Why is there chocolate on your face? Because I've been eating chocolate. Dumbass. But I thought you just went in there a minute ago to wipe the chocolate off. I did. So why do we see chocolate on your face still? That there's new chocolate. Dude, that's remarkable. Holy crap. Dude, you're grumpy. You look like you need a nap. What? You've been up doing everything I've been doing. You look just as sleepy as I do. That may be so, but when I get tired, I'm sleepy. When you get tired, you're grumpy. We're totally different gores. <laughs> no offense, Tyler. Dude, that's funny. Amazing. Now get the chocolate off of your face. It's all over you. Aren't we supposed to be trying to go somewhere? You know, on Mythbusters, they found that the toilet seat has less germs than the doorknob to your bathroom. Well, if that's true, I'll open the door with my butt from now on. Nah, that's okay. I kinda made that up. I'm not sure if they've ever tested that one. Dude, what is up with your hair? Oh, goodness. I can't believe people would leave this car out here with this poor little bear could get hurt. I hate those kids. Man, I don't know what's over my hair. My shampoo was burning a little bit earlier, maybe I'm allergic to it or something. Uh, ever since, my hair just keeps falling out everywhere. Today was supposed to be like this really awesome day, and it's been nothing but freaking awful. There's this berry guy, the whole honey pizzas thing, uh, my bathroom window looks like it's mauled by a lion or something. It's, it's seriously, it's just really getting ridiculous. So, who are we blaming? Man, I don't have a clue. It's like some hippie saw me taunting that bear earlier at the bridge and now he's like avenging him or some stupid crap. I think it's the bear. I think you've smoked yourself retarded. What if he's right? What? Yeah. What? Nothing. Where are the cats at? Oh, I got him some food a little while ago while I was out. Someone and Seema are in the kitchen. I'm not sure about Benjamin's cat. Not my cat, but I don't know. I think I saw Tyler playing with him. Maybe he ate the cat. For sure, he's not at a shelter or anything. Anyway, man, I gotta run. My mom just called. Dude, here's my gun just in case there really is some freaking weirdo messing with you or something. I'll be back in a bit. See ya! He's an odd character sometimes. Why would he even have a gun? Whatever. Fuck.
find some bowls to feed the kittens and I'll go grab the food out of the trunk. So I thought that he meant that he wanted me to get rid of the cat when he really just wanted me to take care of it for real. I really just need the cat back. There is a shelter fee for any animals that leave the shelter. It covers having them chipped, neutered, fed, and any maintenance. Dude, it was only here for like freaking 45 minutes. How much of that stuff do I have to pay for? You'll be responsible for the entire bill. Well, how much of it actually took place, man? Well, it was set to be neutered in the morning, Meow. and I was about to start feeding the animals before he came in. So, you basically did nothing, right, dude? Ugh. Like you said, it was only here for 45 minutes. Here's your cat. Not my freaking cat, man! Holy crap! <laughs> Dude, that is a pretty good one right there. I mean, it sucks for you, but in some way, I'm impressed. That's it. I'm done with this. We we'll find whoever's doing this, and I'll hit you with a baby or something. Who puts somebody's car up on milk crates? What kind of an animal does that? I guess a bear does that. Okay, I have two problems with that sentence. One, a baby? That's just weird. Also, would it be whoever or whomever in that situation? I don't feel like it was very clear in school. Shut it. Who cares? We need a tow truck. What's the fat guy's number? Yeah, no, man. I just, uh... Dante told me to call you. I just need a tow truck. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Thanks, man. There you are. Did you ever find your cat? It's not my cat. I'm certain I saw him run by as I came in. He's definitely here somewhere. Mm-mm-mm. What a freaking liar. Oh, uh, my bad. Sorry, I was getting the story there. Continue on. Awesome. Okay, well, uh, here's something weird. I'm actually pretty convinced that the bear is behind all this stuff now. You can't be, like, serious about this, right? How awesome would that be if that was the case? Well, we need to set some kind of a trap to be sure. Uh, we probably can't catch a bear, but I bet we can trick it into showing itself. I like where this is headed. How? Yeah, I'm not totally sure about that part yet. Although, we could tie Tyler to a stick and just hang him right out of reach. I mean, he's already covered in honey, so it shouldn't take long. Uh, if we give it like 10 minutes, if he doesn't show, it's not a bear. If he shows up, we pull Tyler to safety, then... Then just shoot the bear a million times! Yes, yes, we shoot the bear a million times. This is brilliant, we are so gonna catch him. What if he comes right now? I hadn't actually thought about that. So I'll be going inside now. Crap. Yeah, actually he's right. Okay, Tyler, you going up. Are you ready? Yeah, let's catch a stupid bear. <laughs> Midgets are fun. You're the man, Tyler. Just let us know if you see any signs of... Dude, I used to go fishing as a kid. One thing that's always true about the bait, it always dies. On the upside, that was certainly one big-ass bear. Crap. Do you know what midgets cost these days? That sucks. Definitely a bear, though. Yeah, I like that little guy, too. Ah, uh, the fat guy.
like that. You wouldn't even believe me if I told you. I don't know. I've seen some pretty crazy shit. Some kids start messing with the wrong girl, and her boy crazy boyfriend shows up and does this. And you boys do seem kind of dumb. But then, the other fraternity pranks. Are you boys just dumb frat boys? Regardless, it's pretty impressive. That's what I said. I'm just saying, it takes a lot of patience and the strength of a gorilla to do this. So who in the hell done this to you boys? A bear. Oh. The bear's back. He just knocked over the garbage. He's here. Well, if there's a pair by the garbage, it's time for me to go. Was that the fat guy from the store? From the pizza store? No, that's the other fat guy. It's the fat guy's brother. Shoot it, you slow uh, dummy! Don't just look at it! Will that gun kill a bear? Hmm, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> I hate bears. Uh, Benjamin, I have some bad news for you. Dude, that's my cat! Why the hell did you shoot my cat, you dumbass? Here, let me check it out. Uh oh. She's not dead. She's not dead! Seriously, dude? I'm sorry, man. It freaked me out that I almost cracked my pants. And you have some serious problems with poking things with sticks, don't you? Don't you? Another one. Okay, fine. That's it. Bear, I give up. Sorry I poked you. I will never poke another bear again. In fact, I don't want to ever see another bear again as long as I live. Whoa! Whoa. Alright, Benjamin. You killed the cat. You gotta get rid of it somehow. It's all yours, man. So... Guess we're not going to do anything tonight. Well, there it is, folks. That is the beginning of what would be the longest, weirdest funeral to ever exist. I hope they get better writers, artists, animators, and actors soon, because that was almost painful. I don't know.